Hi everyone, this is Michael Siegel. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to get around Zoom on my online classes. So this is for a PC desktop. I'm making a whole separate video if you're using an iPad. This is for getting into my class and how to use the controls on Zoom if you're using a PC desktop. Okay, now they've made this really easy, uh, which is nice. You don't have to download anything onto your computer manually. You're going to get an email from me before every meeting that's going to look something like this. It's going to ask you to join a meeting, and it's going to have a long link here. And then it's going to have all this other stuff, a meeting ID and a password and all of these numbers down here. You don't need any of that. All you really need is this one tap link here. So we're just going to tap on it. We're going to click on it. It's going to take us automatically to the Zoom website, okay? And at that point, it starts downloading automatically the file. You can see it down here on the left. It even brought up this little clickzoom.exe reminder. Okay, so you're there. Now we're going to click this little file down. I'm at the bottom left of the screen, zoomwhatever.exe. We click that. It says your meeting will begin soon. Okay, so it quickly installs this. This will only happen the first time you join a meeting. Uh, once it's already installed, you won't worry anymore. Okay, so it wants you to enter a name. I would appreciate it if you did enter your name so that I know who I'm talking to um, when I, we're actually in the meeting. So here we have, just put your name here. I'll put student, join meeting. Okay, now it's going to ask you if you want to join with video. That's completely up to you. This is if you want me to be able to see your face through your webcam. Completely up to you. You can join with or without. I'm just going to put without. Okay, now comes something important. We're actually in the meeting now, by the way, which is why you see drawings up on the screen. It's asking if you want to join with computer audio. Yes, you do want to because you are going to want to hear me speak to you. You're going to want to hear the lecture and you're going to want to be able to hear other students asking questions. So um, we're going to join with computer audio, which will use the speaker and the microphone that belong to your computer. Uh, there's also a way to do it through the phone, but I don't, I don't recommend doing anything like that. Uh, you can click this little box down here that says automatically join audio by computer. That way it won't ask you every time. But yes, and if you want to, you can test your speakers and microphone to make sure everything's working. But you're going to join with computer audio. And here we are. Um, now you might be hearing a little feedback just because I have more than one session open. But this is it. This is what we're looking for. And now you're in the class. You're going to see a screen just like this with my drawings, except I'll be drawing live, so it'll be animated. And, uh, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to listen to me speak to you guys uh, throughout the lecture. Now, one thing that I ask immediately when you get into the class immediately I want you to mute your microphone now that is at the bottom left of the screen okay you see way down here on the bottom left we have mute and it's a microphone you click that okay and now there's a little red line going through the microphone so you're muted down and it's even telling us on the screen here you are muted and it tells you how to unmute now I want everyone muted just because there could be a lot of ambient noise wherever you are um, if the plumber's at your house or if you have kids running around, any audio that gets through your microphone is going to end up being heard by the whole group, and that can be distracting. So we're just muting our microphones. When I do open things up for questions, at that point, it's totally okay to unmute, ask your question, and then mute again. And remember, that's all at the bottom left on this toolbar down here. Um, the next one says start video. That's what I told you about before. That's if you want me to see your face, but it really doesn't matter what you do there. You don't have to worry about invite or participants or share screen. There's the chat. Okay, here's the chat down here. This is kind of in the center at the bottom. Now, if you click on that, it shows you the group chat. This is where you can type a text message, so to speak, to the group. So let's say I'm lecturing and uh, you have a question, but it's not really question time or you don't want to interrupt, but you don't want to forget your question either. You can just type it in here. Uh, I'll just type the word question in the chat box and hit uh, enter. 
And and now everyone in the group is going to have access to this. I'm going to have two computers open, one of them specifically just to monitor the chat. So I will check on it often. Feel free to leave your questions in the group chat. I will get to them, okay? And you can close down the chat window anytime you want. Uh, that's really all you need to know. Uh, you don't have to set up a free account with Zoom. You are welcome to if you want. If you want to go to zoom.us, you can get the basic account. Um, but it doesn't matter for this kind of thing. Uh, it, it really doesn't. Uh, so I don't think you need to know anything about the ins and outs of Zoom ratios and stuff. I mean, you can, I mean, you know, up at the top here, view options. If you want to get into this, you're welcome to. It's automatically at 100% Zoom, but you can zoom in on something and go 200% and move the screen around. Uh, that might be useful. You might like that if you just want a bigger view of things. Um, but the default is 100. Uh, you can get out of full screen here, exit full screen, which will just minimize, you know, make a smaller meeting window, but I doubt you're necessarily going to want that since you want to get a nice close-up view of what we're doing. And it's this little bracketed box over on the right that gets you back into full screen, just in case you, uh, you mess that up, okay? All right, well, that's really everything you're going to need to know, and that's all it takes. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in class. Thanks so much.